Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher, and this lesson is about this unique Imbira, Kalimba, Kalren, Sansula. Uh, this is actually called the Sansula. It's a type of Kalimba. And uh, as you can see, it's got a wooden frame and it's got a drum skin, drum head. And then on that is mounted the actual little kalimba unit and it's got um, a wood block in the back to provide some weight and then on the top the the tines here or um, the keys with uh, a beautiful tuning cal ren is called the tuning i'll leave a link below to this if you want to check it out so what i'm going to show you uh, are a few ways that you can play this instrument and you can get some different sounds out of it. You've already seen a few, but I'll break it down. So the first way is to just hold it in your, in your hands like this and play with your thumbs. And that sounds great. It puts out a nice gentle volume. This is really nice for uh, evening, before you go to bed, uh, playing music for someone else, like bedside music making. You can use it to put some music under a story or some uh, to accompany yourself in singing or accompany other musicians, as long as they're playing pretty low volume instruments. Wonderful. Another way you can play this is to place it on a resonant surface. So I've actually got a djembe here and listen to the difference between when I'm holding it in my hands and then if I place it down on the drum head. Even if I touch a tabletop or anything that can vibrate, even if I just touch a corner, it gets a lot louder. Here it is again. So this is using uh, the same concept or idea as those uh, vibro acoustic speakers now that you can get a Bluetooth speaker for example and it actually uses the the item that it's resting on as the speaker instead of having a speaker membrane it uses any surface as the speaker it's kind of the same idea one more thing that I think is a really cool effect well two things one is that you can you can press it on a surface and it will get louder it'll use that as a resonant membrane But then you can also just set it down and let it vibrate a little bit. And in that way, we actually emulate more of a traditional Embira sound, which has traditionally some little shells or bottle caps or something that will make a vibration sound, a buzzing sound. And that's part of the instrument sound. So we can have a kind of a callback to that if we just let it vibrate on the surface. So a little bit of, you know, funkiness is, is a good thing. Now, there's another effect that you can do, and this is, let's just call it the, the clamshell. So we're going to open and close like that, and that'll create a modulation in the timbre or the, and the volume. So we have two different things happening, uh, modulation in sound quality, uh, call it open and closed, just because that's more literal, and also the volume. And that was my audio recorder slipping out of its stand, and that's okay.
So I hope you're all excited about the Sansula. Uh, as I said, I'll leave some links below and we'll probably explore this a little bit more uh, for the patrons on the patreon.com slash Kalani site. If you're not already, please consider supporting World Drum Club with a small donation. And uh, every time I create a new lesson, especially ones for patrons, uh, you chip in a little, it's like a tip, very small amount, but I appreciate that. And it helps us bring more uh, information to the channel and uh, patrons get a little, some bonuses over at the, at the Patreon site. So that's patreon.com slash Kalani. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We always like thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Kalani Das and I'll see you in the next lesson.